are fires burning for a third day now on the slopes of Simons Town. So far, 450 hectares of land have been burned in the area south of Cape Town. While this signals the beginning of fire season in the Western Cape, officials are warning that this year might be the most extreme since 2015. Well, Trevor Abrahams from Working on Fire joins us now to update us and tell us more. Abrahams, um, Mr. Abrahams, thank you so much for your time and a, a very good evening to you. I mean, let us reflect on the amount of work that is currently taking to uh, fight out this fire. Good evening. Yes, it's quite a significant fire, the start of the Western Cape fire season, if you like. But it's, in fact, uh, a part of a year in which we have burnt the most area for the last eight years. We've lost some 1.9 million hectares already. And unfortunately, this is coming at the turn of the El Nino-La Nina cycle, in which we're expecting hotter and drier conditions. And coming on the wet area that we've had, we have a lot of new growth. We have a lot of vegetation and hence a high fuel load, which can sort of sustain these kind of uh, disaster fires. Mm. I've spoke earlier on about 450 hectares worth of land being burned so far. Any damage, significant damage that you can share that you have uh, detected thus far? Well, I think very fortunate in this case, the kind of coordinated response we've had. We've seen that, you know, even though it's up to about 600 hectares already, there's been no substantial damage to any property. There's been one underlicked house that's been burnt down. But, you know, so far, the residences have been protected. There's been no lives lost. There's five reported injuries amongst the firefighters. And, um, you know, I think, it's, thankfully, we haven't had it really encroach into the urban area. Mm.